What's going on, guys? It is Celeb back again for another episode of the Second Opinion Podcast. And it's been quite some time. I know I haven't done one in a while. Uh, I've been working so much and uh, having all kinds of stuff going on in my personal life. But I am back. And next week, I'll be joined by TJ. Uh, you can find him on Twitter at Don't You Ever 69. He's a writer on secondopinionpod.com you can check out the website as well but this is our E3 prediction cast and I wanted to start it out like we used to back on the podcast and talk about what you've been drinking what you've been gaming uh, I've been drinking the Henry's Hard Soda it's made with cane sugar it's 4.2% alcohol it's a ginger ale uh, and it's pretty awesome man it doesn't have the artificial taste that some of the other soda beers like the Don't Your, uh, Not Your Father's Root Beer and Best Damn Root Beer um, Best Damn Root Beer is better than Not Your Father's, uh, but Not Your Father's kind of has a weird aftertaste. Um, and Henry's Hard Soda has a really nice taste to it. It's, it's a really nice ginger ale. So if you get a chance, check that out at your local local Walmart or local <laughs> local Walmart. Um, but uh, gaming-wise, I've been playing Minecraft. I've been playing um, a lot of Doom, playing a lot of Uncharted multiplayers, a little bit of Call of Duty. And I've been playing Mirror's Edge Catalyst. So today's episode is our E3 predictions. And we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. First up today, we have EA's press conference. It starts at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And uh, you can find that on Twitch. Now, the big things that are going to be shown off, I think all of us already know. But this is more or less what I'm really excited about. We'll, we'll get the other two out of the way. Titanfall is... Um, they're going to show off some gameplay for Titanfall. No offense or butts about it. Uh, but with Titanfall 2, Titanfall 2 is going to be on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. And uh, with that, they said that there's going to be the introduction of a story mode, which is going to be nice. Uh, it's a nice addition to the first one uh, that had no story mode. It was a straight multiplayer. And the one thing I didn't like about Titanfall is while you were playing online, you were going against pilots and soldiers as well. And the soldiers were actually artificial intelligence. They were AI, and I really hated that. I thought that I was doing great. I'm killing people left and right. I'm like, yeah, ah, 36 and 6. And I'm like, wait a second, 36 soldiers and 6 pilots. So um, I'm hoping they change that, man. I really hate it. I cannot tell you how much I hate the added artificial um, soldiers in the game. I could not stand it and it really just made me just lose it for the game so um another thing mass effect andromeda uh hopefully they're going to show off some gameplay for that i would really like to kind of hear about the uh, main character and their origin i know that this new mass effect is supposed to have new worlds new universes and new species and it's a totally it's not it has nothing to do with the last three uh i think there's going to be some character uh that we'll we'll see in the game we'll see some of the previous characters and hopefully they'll talk about Shepard a little bit so um, either male or female Shepard whatever you chose I don't care it could be unisex Shepard <laughs> as long as they talk about Shepard and have at least a little bit of a comment about him so and then after that they're gonna show off Battlefield 1 I'm hoping to see a lot of gameplay um, and a little bit more kind of focused around the story and what uh what the story can really entail what they're playing off of you know ea actually had came out at one point in time and said that they were a little worried about doing battlefield one set in world world war one because a lot of young kids nowadays may not know much about it but this is a good way of kind of showing that off i'd really love to see a lot of the multiplayer as well uh, that's what's going to be shown off. I think, you know, at EA, they're they're possibly going to show off um, the the Amy Hennig Star Wars game, uh, the visceral Star Wars game, and uh, I, I really hope they do. I hope we get some light shined on it and figure out if it's just a brand new Star Wars game or if they're going to continue 1313. So, um, also moving on from that, we have, I'm skipping up. Well, I'll just go ahead and talk about it. Uh, we're, we're talking about Bethesda. Bethesda starts at 7 PM Pacific standard time tonight. Um, and it's going to be by far one of the best E3 shows. I think one of the best showcases. Um, now we all know that they are going to have dishonored to, 
Uh, they're going to show off some gameplay of Dishonored. They'll probably talk about a little bit of DLC coming to Doom, and hopefully they'll talk about the future DLC of Fallout 4. Uh, the mod capabilities coming to the PlayStation 4. But then we move into the, the speculation. Um, now, there are four games right now that are being speculated to be shown. There's Wolfenstein 2, which they've talked about that since 2014. Uh, there's Wolfen, uh, there's uh, Evil Within, there's Evil Within 3. I'm sorry about that, guys. There's Evil Within 3, um, with the possibility of it coming out. I think with the success of the last one, they definitely will come out with the second one. Um, there's also a Prey reboot that is rumored to be coming out as well. Um, and that's going to be a, a, a really big shocker uh, for, I think, a lot of people in the games industry if it actually does happen. Now, they're saying that Arcane Studios in Austin uh, has been working on this for a little bit. And, uh, I mean, that's cool, man. Like, I'm, I really hope it happens because they're saying it's, gonna, it's supposed to be a total reboot. It's not going to be Prey 2. It's more or less going to be doing what they're, they've been doing recently with, like, Wolfenstein and Doom. Um and I would love to see that, man, because I think I was very excited for Prey in 2011. I was at PAX uh, Prime in uh, Seattle when it happened, or PAX West, whatever it's called now. So um, it was uh, it was awesome to see the stuff they had show showcased at the uh, at the event. There wasn't gameplay, but there were some videos. We were able to talk about it for a little bit uh, and saw the awesome statue that they had there. So uh, that was cool. Um, and also um, they. I'm pretty sure, 100% sure, I'm hoping that Skyrim Remastered is coming um, later on this year. Uh, it was leaked out by a website that it was listed for a uh, full retail cost, I think, of $59.99. It's Skyrim Remastered, possible mod capabilities, and uh, completely redone graphics. Um, and it's it was listed for November 23rd of 2016. So I would love to see it happen. Uh, I would totally buy it seven times, and I'd probably you know I'd probably end up screwing up my marriage because I'd do nothing but play that and not pay attention to my baby that's going to be born two days after that. So, um, <laughs> but outside of that, there's one more thing that I am very excited about, and it's called Quake. Um, it was listed a while back on a job. Um, on a on a job description uh, that whoever had applied for this has the possibility of working on legendary id games like Doom and Quake. Um, I'm very excited for Quake. Uh, I don't know if they're just going to do a reboot of it or what they're really going to do with it, but I'm thinking it's going to be announced today. Um, so that's why I'm thinking Bethesda is going to have one of the biggest E3 conferences. I think they have a lot to show off. I think a lot of people are going to be excited for what they're doing. So Microsoft is going to be happening tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, I think they're going to show off the slimmed down version of the Xbox One. Uh, also, I think what they're going to be doing is possibly talking about their new Xbox, which is going to be the 4K Xbox or the higher resolution, more powerful Xbox. Um, and uh, I think it'll be a cool thing. Uh, Sony is supposedly working on the console as well. They came out yesterday or day before yesterday and announced we do have a PlayStation 4K. It is real, but it will not be at E3, which I think is a is a very big mistake. I think it would be a really awesome thing for them to do is show it off, talk about the price point, what the system can do, and also when the release date is uh, to kind of hype up the console a little bit more and explain to people why they need to buy this console. Now they said that the PS4 is gonna be sold in tangent with the other PlayStation 4, the original. So that's gonna be cool. And I know Microsoft is gonna do the same exact thing. When the Xbox One was originally released, they re-released the Xbox 360 with a more slim line Xbox 360. Uh, the re when they released the Xbox One, they re-released the Xbox 360 with more of a slim lined console. And it had better, better cooling. Uh, it was just, it looked better, it was more uh, aesthetically pleasing uh, than the previous Slim. Uh, and it more kind of like it was almost taking after the Xbox One. I really liked that console. So I think they're going to show that off. Hopefully, uh, Gears of War 4 is going to be their main thing. They're going to show off. Um, I think uh, it'll, they'll have a good chunk of gameplay they're going to show off tomorrow. And hopefully, I feel that there's two other games that I would love to see. I'd love to see a Halo title, even if it's Halo Wars uh, 2. And I'd like to see some Crackdown 
um, gameplay. So that's going to be shown off, um, and the Microsoft one's going to be cool. Now, the PC gaming show, I'm not very excited about it at all, uh, to be honest with you. I think last year's was pretty, was kind of lackluster, so I'm not really even going to mention that one at all. Um, now, Ubisoft, Ubisoft, uh, they start tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard. Uh, it's going to be on Twitch as well. Now, they're going to show off Watch Dogs 2. I think they'll probably show off some gameplay for that. Uh, I don't plan on getting the game. I was very disappointed with the last one. Total downgrade in graphics. It was not the type of game uh, that it was led on to believe, I think. I really did not like it at all. I played it for quite some time. Got into at least three quarters into the game, and I was just, okay, I can't keep pushing myself to play a game that I don't like. So it's not my cup of tea. Could be y'all's, but uh, they will be showing off some Watch Dogs 2. Um, also, uh, they're going to show off Ghost Recon Wildlands, which I'm very excited about. I think it's going to be a, a great game to relaunch the Ghost Recon series. Uh, more open world, more bigger possibilities of different types of uh, takedowns for your targets. Um, and I'm very excited about it. And also For Honor. I think uh, For Honor will be showed off. They'll, they'll explain a little bit more about the game and the story and uh, show off some gameplay as well. Now the Assassin's Creed series, they could, co uh, they could possibly be talking about the upcoming film um, and, and what... You know, what some stuff is, uh, what, I guess, kind of more or less, like, I don't know, they could talk about the story, but hopefully I, I see a little bit of Assassin's Creed news um, with when the game is going to come out. We know there's not one coming this year, but there's possibly one coming next year, and I would like to see something totally different. Uh, with them stopping the whole every year Assassin's Creed thing, I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, I think it's going to give them a little bit more time to focus and get the get the series back to what it was. Um, and then after that, 6 p.m. tomorrow, we have the Sony press conference, which I'm very excited about. Uh, they're going to show off um, the... I already said they're not going to show off the PlayStation 4K. There's a possibility that they're going to show off The Last of Us 2. Uh, it is being rumored as of now that they don't a lot of people are thinking it's not going to be shown off maybe they'll have just a really small trailer like a you know like a 40 second teaser trailer and have the last of us logo and we hey we are working on it but we don't have anything on the table right now um but i know they're going to show off playstation vr games they're going to really heavily focus on that because that's going to be one of their big things coming up in october uh the last guardian i hope they're going to show a lot of gameplay from that um, and also another there's there's two other things I would like to see I'd like to see Crash Bandicoot which I know is a is a very big stretch um, but there's rumors that Crash could be coming to Skylanders which is cool but it's not the game I'm looking for man I want a relaunch of Crash Bandicoot man it was in Uncharted you get us hype up by by showing something like that um, last year, one of the reps actually sh was during the show was wearing a Crash shirt. So come on, man, let's see this. Let's see a relaunch of the Crash Bandicoot series. Please do this for me. And lastly, God of War 4 will be shown off. I'm telling you guys, I would be totally shocked and just to completely depressed if it wasn't shown off. I think it's going to be shown off. I think they're going to have um, a lot of. Uh, I think they'll hopefully have at least a gameplay trailer or something. Um, and it's supposedly going to be a Nordic time. So maybe Kratos has moved on from... <laughs> maybe Kratos has moved on from this this uh, Greek mythology onto, you know, the Nordic gods. He's going to kill them. Or it could be a completely new character that we're going to play as. And that would be awesome too. I'd love to see that. Um, and then also they're going to show off Horizon Zero Dawn, which has been pushed off until 2017. Um, and uh, I'm very excited for that game, so we will see. Now, uh, June 14th, we're going to have the Nintendo Press Conference on Twitch at 9 a.m. Um, I think they'll show off Legend of Zelda, uh, and they'll show off, you know, a new Pokemon game. Um, they'll show off some new Mario title, and maybe a little small, small hint about what um, NX is, but I'm just, I, I feel the same way with Nintendo 
uh, the Nintendo press conference as I do the PC gaming conference. It's just not not for me. So, anyways, that's it, guys. That's our E3 predictions. Make sure to check us out at secondopinionpod.com for the latest and greatest gaming news previews and much more. Check us out next week where I'm going to have my super special guest, TJ, on the show. You can find him on Twitter, don't you ever 69 Find me on Twitter as S0LEB and follow Second Opinion on Twitter at Second Opinion Pro. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Peace out.